so it is the beginning of March and I don't remember my tulips being this big the beginning of March but it is what it is so it's time to put some bone meal down but I need to cut these rose bushes back and cut back my perennials from last fall so the bed will look decent once the tulips start blooming and the rest of the tulips just coming out coming up I should say in this flower bed here I'm going to fertilize them as well so everywhere I see some tulips coming up I'm going to put some fertilizer around them and kind of clean up a little bit probably won't cut these back just yet but the ones over here I'm going to cut them back so the tulips can look pretty when they come up all right peace that's how I make them so this is what I'm getting ready to put around my tulips I did end up cutting the roses back some just because I needed to clean up the bed and it was they were just too wild and getting all in my way <laughs> I'll probably have to cut out some more of the dead wood but I cut them back some these are shrub rose bushes I got them at English gardens they're very pretty in the summertime they have lots of flowers on them the ones in the back not so much but the ones in the front I really like those and so I'm gonna put some bone meal around the tulips and scratch it in with my little small rake this works great for getting into small spaces and then I'm gonna go around the yard and put some more bone meal around some of my other rose bushes. This was the worst bed because of the rose bushes. And you need to have on double gloves when you're working with rose bushes because the thorns are terrible. But it's worth it because I love roses. So I did this flower bed from scratch. It was nothing here but grass originally. So I planted some roses here and they died because I put some lemongrass and the lemongrass smothered them out I never do that again anyway these are just too leggy they're going to start sprouting soon so I'm going to cut them back some so they won't be sprouting on unnecessary branches and clean it up a little bit and put some fertilizer around the few little tulips I have coming up I really can't see them too much but I know they're here but I'm going to cut these roses back anyway and uh, get rid of some of the annuals that I didn't get out in the fall. I really want to cut all this greenery, well, the, the branches that's left on this clematis because last year it started from scratch. I cut it all the way back to 12 inches and it grew back up and it really bloomed better last year so I'm debating whether I'm going to cut it back some what do you think you think I should leave it it has greenery growing on it already or should I cut it back down so it'll bloom more instead of making more leaves okay I cut back the roses of course I had to run in the house And cup some water in my hand to get the thorn out my eye. Make sure you put your safety glasses on. Just saying. I forgot the, the cardinal rule. Alright. So this is my little mini hole. So the best thing to do. Is to get the weeds while they small. Why am I wait till these get to be huge? Why are you cleaning up your bed? Just go and get the little small weeds out of there. And the grasses you don't want. And then you don't have to worry about it later. This stuff here is a vine. It gets on my nerves. I'm going to kind of get it out of here so it won't keep growing. So I cut the roses back some. But uh, you see this corbels? It's the, you see how it stayed all winter? The one over there is a little droopy. But this one here, look at it. I'm going to cut this one back some. Well, I'm going to say thin it out. It's growing all up into this rose bush. So the part that's all up in this rose bush, I'm going to just dig this out soon and very soon. Move it over a little bit. Probably divide it in half because it's too big for that spot. This is the one little bunch of tulips coming up. I'm going to put some fertilizer around them. So I have more around here. But they just haven't come up. So 
that's basically it for this bed. Cleaned up a little bit more and I'm moving on to the next one. Next. So last fall, I started tulips in pots. I've never done this before, but I went to YouTube to find out how you do it. And he told us to do them in layers. And so they're starting to come up. So I'm fertilizing them. Some bone meal. I have some in pots just trying to come up now. So I'm getting a little head start with these. I'm fertilizing them. So they'll have something to keep them going once they come up. I also did a planter and another big pot with them in there. And if I see any squirrels messing with these, I'll throw some of my cayenne pepper flakes in here to keep the squirrels out of it. They were messing with them a little bit in the fall. That's why I put them up here on the table to keep the squirrels out of them. I don't know where I'm going to put them at in the garden, but I'm going to find a spot to put them in for some color. And it's hyacinth in these, I think, and tulips. So this is my secret garden that I started last year in the fall. And I started my pathway. I have some more mulch. I just need to put my cardboard down and add some more mulch. Got to cut back some of my perennials from last year. But this is the container I put tulips and hy hyacinth in. So I'm going to add some, some bone meal to this pot. Because I see a little, see a little bit of a tulip coming up there, so they're ready for some fertilizer. I'm excited for my secret garden. I had to secure my arch a little bit more because <laughs> it was trying to tip, but I think it'll be okay now. So you guys have a peaceful day. Peace, I saw them like them. So, I saw like them. I guess you're wondering why do I have cardboard down here? I use cardboard instead of mulch sometimes. When I want to keep down weeds and I don't want to pay for mulch, I just throw some cardboard down until I can figure out what I want to do in that area. So I planted some hardy hibiscus in a couple of spots and I just put some cardboard down. <laughs> and, the, and the poor little tools was trying to glow up through the cardboard, so I had to push the cardboard back. Put some bone meal down there, so they'll be fine. These are red. I planted these. Not last fall, but the fall before that. So, yeah, don't don't ask me why I'm keeping this box, this uh, bucket with the rocks in it. I'm I'm gonna find a use for those rocks. I know as soon as I throw them away, I'm gonna say, why not keep those rocks? So, that's why I have those rocks. <laughs> All right. So, this front flower bed, I didn't cut back the grass in the fall, so it's a hot mess. So I'm going to cut back this grass and get rid of the hydrangea flowers just all over everywhere. And I put some fertilizer around my tulips coming up. They really just kind of choked out by the hostas, but we'll see what they look like. Probably put a little bit more fertilizer around those. So I'm done with this bed. I cut back the roses some. I'll probably cut them back a little bit more. 